Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam Uniba, your success start here Firstly, thank you for your attention I have the opportunity here to convey story about Sunan Kalijaga Sunan Kalijaga is one of the Songo guardians who has prominent differences from other guardians. These differences include in terms of dress and preaching. He prefers to wear black clothes with a typical Japanese blanket. This shows that he is simple person. Sunan Kalijaga's journey to become a guardian. At the time, Raden Sahid Sunan Kalijaga was concerned about the condition of the Tuban people due to the tribute and the long dry season. Then he took the invitative to this temple, the dungeons were housed and distributed the food to people in I need. But at the time he has couch rehanded by the warehouse keeper who later he reported to his father. Sunan Kalijaga's childhood and youth. According to history, Sunan Kalijaga's first name is Raden Mas Shahid or Raden Said. He is the son of a duke of Tuban named Ki Tumenggung Wilatikta. But some say that his father name is Raden Sahur Tumenggang Wilatikta. Other names of Sunan Kalijaga's are Lokajaya or Sheikh Malaya and Prince Tuban. Dakwah. In Dakwah, he has the same pattern as his mentor and close friend Sunan Bonang. His religious beliefs tend to be Salaf, bad Sufis, not patheistic Sufis, worship only. He also chose arts and culture as a means to preach. He is very tolerant of local culture. He urges that people will stay away if attack his position. Then they shall be approached gradually, following a long effect. Sunan Kalijaga believes that if Islam has been understood. It will happen automatically. Old habits are gone. Sunan Kalijaga's teaching seems scientific in introducing Islam. He used art carving, wayang, gamelan, and the art of suluk sound is a means of dakwah. Some folk songs his popular creations are ilir ilir and gundul gundul pacul. That dakwah. Method is very effective. Most of the dukes in Java embrace Islam church Sunan Kalijaga. Among them were the dukes of Pandanaran, Kartasura, Kebumen, Banyumas, and Pajang. Bert Sunan Kalijaga's estimated to have been born in 1450 with the, red, with the name Sam Kusuma. He is the son of Master Santi Badra. And his grandfather named Badarana, his great grandfather named Maladerisma Raja Lasem with the title Raja Sawardana. Other names for Sunan Kalijaga include Lokajaya, Sheikh Malaya, Prince Tuban, and Raden Abdurrahman, younger brother of Dan MP Wawang, Santi Puspo, or Sayyid Abu Bakar, the last of ten siblings. That when he died, he was buried in the village of Kadilangu near the town of Dema, now school. This town until now is still crowded with people from all over Indonesia. Sunan Kalijaga's wife and children. According to some stories, Sunan Kalijaga married Dewi Saroh who was the daughter of Maulana Ishak and had sons and daughter Raden Umar Said or Sunan Muria, Dewi Rakayu and Dewi Sofia. Maybe that's all my explanation about Sunan Kalijaga. The last I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.